family, we finally got everybody together to do a large family Q&A. So we're so excited for all of your questions. Yay! Open up my heart and you'll find love. And we all sit on this half of the couch. So that's pretty yes. impressive. You saw pretty impressive. Hold the pillows. Okay. I have printed off your questions in this bowl and we're going to pass them around. And Look how small that question okay. is. <laughs> here's the thing. Everybody on Facebook got like it printed big and for some reason the YouTube ones printed miniature. But we can still read it. So we're good. We're okay. And we can fit more in the bowl. So that's a plus. <laughs> so Max is going to start us off. He actually already picked one out of the bowl. He cheated, but it's okay. Yeah. It's you kind of, so I have one question for everybody and the one question for you guys. For uh, us? Okay. okay. I'll start with uh, the everyone question. Yeah. So are any of the teams planning on getting jobs now that there's more opportunity in the Valley? Ooh, that's a good question. Yes. Personally, yes. I am once I turn 16. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I want to. Yeah. yeah. Jobs. He already has a YouTube job. Yeah. It's, I need to. It's so good. You're doing good though. You're doing so good. He's doing really good. It's getting there. Yeah. Virgin yeah. Thomas. We're out. Come on, Alex. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So that first one was by. Isabel, it's so freaking hard to read. It's so it's small. Well, that seems it's, just hard. Isabel Calagros. See, that's exactly. I don't know. I, I don't know. If it's Question two is by Violet. Just curious about Joe. Does does he have family, kids? He seems to be very good with your kids. I love his sense of humor. By the way, I'm a huge fan of the crazy pieces. You are a very good example of parenting with love and show the way of doing much good. The world would be a much better place if we all, there were more people like you. Aww, oh, that's so nice. Nice. I love yeah. that. So okay, Joe yeah. is single and ready to mingle. No, that's not what they were asking. <laughs> Ladies, we're gonna do a bachelorette Joe edition or bachelor. That would actually bachelor be so edition. fun. I think it so could fun. be cool. I'll be the host. So post in the comments. He's turning, he just turned 39, so yeah. Let's, <laughs> okay, but Joe let's hook does up. have a family. <laughs> so Joe and Aaron went to high school together. They are best friends. We actually are gonna do a video I'm explaining Joe. more about Joe because I know a lot of you have questions about him, but we do consider him family. He basically is <laughs> his brother, is what we consider He's him. He's my to brother be. from another mother. Yes. Um, but Joe does have a family. He's really good with kids. He does not have any kids, though. He is just the fun uncle, the funkle. Um, he even has a shirt that says that. I don't know. It's funny. So Joe, he has a really great family. He has brothers and sisters. He has, yeah, his own thing. But we're close to it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We love him. We, we love, love Joe. Him. The next one's by Sandra H. It says, Crystal, how do you handle this whole situation. I think they're probably referring to moving and adoptions and birthdays and everything we've been having going on lately. Um, and just in general, it's a lot. Patience. How do I handle it? Patience. 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 But I also, I do take some time for myself. Like I do get up at five o'clock every morning and everybody else, well, especially during summertime, they're not getting up till a lot later, like nine or 10. The calendar so, book keeps us organized. All <laughs> calendar. The calendar book. <laughs> I, am, I am a big calendar person. I actually have, yeah, a planner and I have a whole planner where I keep everyone's appointments, everything um, organized and all of that. But I think taking that time for myself and really energizing and making sure I'm getting plenty of sleep every night um, definitely helps because I notice on days when I stay up too late, it gets a little too crazy. I don't know, I get, my patient gets lower. Also communication, um, communication with my kids, communication with my husband. If I am feeling overwhelmed or if I am having a bad day, um, I'm thankful that I'm surrounded by many amazing people. And if the kids even know that I'm stressed, they will come to me and be like, hey mom, what can I help with? Or let's do this or that. And so, I don't know. I've surrounded myself with a lot of love and positive people, and that definitely helps. Team workers. Yes. Yeah. 
This is by Bible Woman 77. She said, is it hard to keep your house clean or are the kids good at really picking up? Um, I think we're really good at picking up our stuff. We've been better at it. Yeah. Um, in our old house, we were just really bad at it. We definitely did not bring that habit to this house and I think we're really good at it. I second what Ariana said. The kids have been so good at picking up after themselves and keeping everything clean. We've actually changed how we've done, how we do our tour system, which I feel like has been a lot better. Um, we're still getting into the swing of things with it. I will do a video talking about it, but basically an overview is instead of, because before we had this person's on bathroom for the week, this person's on kitchen for the week, this person's on living room, and it was hard because I feel like a lot of times people would be like, well, I'm not bathroom, so if I see something on the floor, I'm not gonna pick it up because it's not my chore kind of mentality. So now we switched our tour system to be a more family and work together. So we have bathroom days where we, one person will go and clean all the mirrors in all the bathrooms, the other person will do the sinks, and like we're doing them more together and as a family, and I feel like it's working out really well so far. So it was really fun because I had to squeegee the bathroom, the the glass, the glass, and Max had the the mirror, so we would just spray each other, either like <laughs> on each other, or we would just spray the um, the mirror or the glass and we'd do a wheel because they had multiple squeegees. Oh, uh, so we'd squeegee, we'd squeegee them all at the time. See, the uh, chores are more fun now, so that's good. <laughs> uh, this is from Jody D D Denby K. Is there anything food-wise that any of you guys would specifically tr like to try from Australia? We are wanting to send you in the middle as a package, but unsure of what you guys already have tried. Have we tried the Australian? I think we have. We got an Australian box. I don't yeah, remember yeah. the name of what we tried. Uh, it was like a uh, Kit Kat kind of thing, and it was yeah. so good. Uh, yeah. I don't remember the like name of it. Oh, Vegemite was in that. We don't know what that was for. We didn't though. try it. <laughs> no, we did try it. It was good, but I don't know what it was used for. Like what it goes on. It's like it's like a topping. It's like peanut butter kind of thing. I was gonna say, well, um, so Tim Tams, I freaking love Tim Tams. They are so good. If you want to send Tim Tams, <laughs> go ahead, I will eat them. <laughs> Just send Just any surprise food. us, because we don't have any, send I don't know. Um, I know another one of those questions was about the P.O. box. We are getting it set up um, within the next week or so, so we'll let you guys know as soon as that's done. Tia White says, would Halo ever consider going into nursing or counseling? I feel like she would excel as a therapist. Um, I've thought about it, but I don't think that's what I want to do. I don't really know what I want to do as a career yet. I haven't like decided, because I'm only 17. Like, I don't need to decide any of that right now, so. <laughs> I'm not you really would be good at nursing, she's, though. She's, yeah. She does, like when people get hurt, she's really good at like, she doesn't, freak out or like she doesn't like panic like a lot of us I do. I don't I don't panic stay in calm. emergencies. I stay very calm. Like the other day I accidentally set something on fire and what? I kind of just like stood there like well how do oh, I put it yeah, out? I and Ari was me. like there's literally a fire put it out and I was like, She's like I don't know what to do. I was like you do have to take action, yeah. but you don't need to panic. And then, yeah. and then I yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> so I would definitely think about counseling or nursing. But I'm not sure yet. I'm about to have my first son in October. I was wondering if you had any trips or tricks for new moms. I love the whole crazy pieces thing. Oh. So we'll take that one. Congratulations. With that one. Yeah. Congratulations. 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 Babies are amazing. So, okay, I have two things, two words of advice here. So with my first one with Hallie, when I had her, I was so, like I had a book and I had, I don't know, I, I don't know. So I was always like, what is, what is she going to do next? When is she going to start rolling over? When is she going to start, you know, saying her first words? What food do I do this? And I always was looking at the next chapter in my books and next, I don't know. I was always looking forward to the next step. 
But I feel like in doing that, that I didn't, I mean, I did enjoy the moments, but I feel like I didn't really like focus on where she was in that moment. And so I would say kids grow so fast um, to definitely enjoy the moments and enjoy the time that you have with them and just live in that moment. So that would be my biggest advice there. My other one is, um, have patience and understanding because every kid's personality is different. Every situation is different when it comes to parenting, but definitely look at it as they're learning and growing and becoming their person and who they're meant to be. And that's, yeah, enjoy it. People cry for a reason. Babies cry for a reason. So you just gotta go down the list. You gotta figure out the Are they reason. hungry? Do they got a burp? <laughs> Do they need a diaper change? Do they need a nap? Yeah. Do they just need some snuggle time? But congratulations and congratulations. enjoy. All right, Jake's turn. Okay, I agree. Um, have the kids got to meet up with the former friends from the valley? Yeah. Mm. Some of them have, some of them have. I have to have friends I, to meet up with. I have. It was, okay. it was very nice. He went and hung out with them, um, and they came to his graduation party, and so some of the kids have and some have not. This one's by Paula Odell. How do you all stay so upbeat and happy seeing you have adopted the most perfect, well-adjusted kids that get along? I have two adopted brothers and we were all different and often fought. So we're not, oh, like there is fights. There is stuff that goes on here and there. And I would say for the most part, everybody gets along really well. But we do have our moments too. Like we're not a perfect family. Like we're not, you know what I mean? But I would say we do always try to find the positive, even in hard situations that we're going through. Like we always try to look at what we're gonna learn from it or whatnot, but we are not happy and get along 24 seven. Like there are moments. But so. the answer to the first part, how do y'all stay so and happy? That would be mom. I think, I think <laughs> something that our family really uh, excels at is Crystal and I are very supportive of the kids. And our kids, as they've grown up, have become very supportive of each other. And so I think a lot of times when somebody is struggling, other somebody else in the house will see that they're struggling and want to step in and be that supportive role, um, whether it's Crystal and I or one of the other siblings. So. Okay, Teresa Walker Greer, I love your vlogs. I also was a foster parent and adopted and biologically had four, equaling ten. Awesome. Um, now we are raising our special needs grandson. One very important question I have is, do you have an alarm or some type of pool, um, especially because Aurora is so young and has no fear of water? So our doors do have like little alarm things on them. We are getting, um, well, so we wanted to get a pool fence is our original plan, but they said they're like eight weeks out from installing it. And I feel like, we want something sooner because it does make me really nervous not having anything over the pool. So we did order a catch a kid, which is like a net thing that goes on the top of the pool. That should be installed in the next week or two. So that was like the fastest, easiest way we can get the pool taken care of. We probably will eventually still be getting a fence put in um, just for the extra security because it is very important that um, safety around pools and that kind of thing. And so, like what we have kids and our like mom's grandkids come over. Like, yes, I just would never want anything to happen. Like that's something that I'm super paranoid about. And yeah. Sydney so. Ravy says, not a chain question, but have you guys thought about having another biological child? P.S. Love you guys so much. I watch you guys for two years now and I don't miss a video. Aww, so Sydney, after Crystal and I had our third biological child, I actually, had a vasectomy, and oh, so we can no longer have our own biological children. Now, I could possibly have it reversed or whatnot, but I have to be honest, I think there's enough kids out there that if we want more kids, there's other ways to go about doing it. Yeah, so we will not be having any more biological nope. children. Is that for sure. That's 100%. Neutering for humans? Yes. Basically. I thought it was to get your tubes to ask her That's you get her. Uh, that's good. That's so. Lola Wilkin says, I want to know more about your fostering journey. How do your kids become so well adjusted? I am just starting to 
the licensing. licensing because you and the middles inspired me to take sibling groups. I will be a first time single mom and don't know what I'm doing at all. Any advice you can give me would be so appreciated. Love you guys so much and thank you for all you do. Great read. Good job. That's very good. It takes time. Um, I think that's amazing though that you're doing foster care and that you're going through this journey and that you want to keep sibling sets together too. That's so commendable and so amazing. I love that. Um, oh, go ahead. Well, no, Alex wants to finish. say something. I'll no, go say ahead. After. Go no, ahead. You can finish. Say before you forget. Go. Uh, I don't forget, but I feel like we're all similar in some way. So like when Savannah and Lucas came, it was really easy to connect with them. So they just were like part of the family really fast. So I just feel like it's because we're all either similar or yeah, I think awesome. we're all very understanding of each other's backgrounds. And um, the number one book I would say for every foster parent or getting ready to take in foster kids is read The Connected Child. And it is an incredible book at understanding some of the traumas and things that go on back behind it. And that behaviors are when a kid acts out that usually there's some reason why. And it's not just like, oh, this is a bad kid or, oh, they, they can't control themselves. There's something going on behind that. And so to be understanding and for kids to feel heard and that their voice matters helps them adjust a little quicker. Also, I, I feel like um, adopting sibling sets, they adjust pretty quickly because they still have each other in that security of somebody that they know or have known for their whole life or have gone through something that they've gone through. And I think relating to things um, from their background or past in any way that you can so that they feel, they feel validated and helps them adjust, but it does take time. So they say, here's the statistic I heard, I don't know if this is true or not, but for every year old they are, it takes that many months to adjust. So if a kid comes in and they're six years old, you can look at a six month adjustment period. Um, but I mean, obviously give or take, depending on the kid and what situation they went through, so. Okay, by Kayla Kepler, Crystal, as the mom, how do you feel about your kids graduating? And how long will you allow them to stay in your house? It's a Honestly. good question. So, um, <laughs> it makes me sad when they graduate. <laughs> Alex is our well, I am and I did go through her graduation, but I don't know, It's I'm so proud of them and I'm excited for their future and everything that life has to in store for them. Um, but a little piece of me does feel sad that I'm like, oh, like, like I was just telling Alex the other day, he always films what's in my backpack right before school. And like, he's not going to get to this year, so, you know, yeah. like this will be the first year that there's no, what's in my, so it's like the end of that chapter, but I am excited for their future. What's in my um, college backpack? Oh, <laughs> how long can kids stay? There's no time frame. I don't feel like, oh, you're 18. You gotta be at no like I feel like you stay as long as you need and if you're going to college or if you're working or you're you know what I mean bettering yourself like they can stay every kid until they get married if they want yeah, yeah like Hannah like, wants, like, yeah, yeah, wants to stay here until she's and like travel with five. and travel with them they already made plans <laughs> but see, in Jamaica. I already know that that's not gonna happen because she's gonna find a boy that she likes and loves and then she's gonna be like oh, I'm going to Jamaica with my <laughs> Beyonce. <laughs> you can still go. I can still go. It'll be a double it'll be a double date to Jamaica. Here. <laughs> going with my parents and my boyfriend. No, we'll have two yeah, different hotel rooms. <laughs> oh wait, not like that. Well you're married. Not like that. Hannah Elizabeth Nichols says, if twenty twenty one has taught you anything, what is it? What are your summer plans, plans for twenty twenty two? Love watching your family and hear, hearing everyone's story. So plans for this year, um, we're going to New York in two weeks. And I'm not stinky. And then, <laughs> then we're doing a big family vacation, but I have not told the kids where we're going yet. So woo! Hey, we're doing that after. Sweet. No, you don't, because I need to. I already know, because she <laughs> talks to her Max. Oh, Brian. No, I, I already know. 
now. I didn't tell my people. Okay. Guys. Wait. Okay, anyways, if 2021 has taught you anything, what is it? Enjoy the moment. Yeah, and be Enjoy what you have. I would like to see. So I learned recently, I used to hold um, myself accountable for my past quite a bit. And recently I learned that you cannot change the past. What's happened in the past has happened and it's okay to have feelings about that, but you can't beat yourself up over the past because yeah. it's in the past and you can't do anything about it. But if you spend too much time beating yourself up about the past, then you're not focused on living in the moment and making the future a better future. Focus on the moment, yeah. live in the moment, and focus on making a better future uh, than the past that you're beating yourself up with. In 2021, like I am learning to live in the moment and enjoy other people because it was hard when we went, you know, a year in quarantine or whatnot. I don't know if it was exactly a year, but being so long, not being able to see my mom and family and different people, um, it's definitely nice to be able to get back to seeing everybody and enjoying those relationships. And being grateful for what you have. So, yeah, that's what I learned. All right, Lynn, Phil, Cecil. My hubby and I watch every video and love your family. Are you going to be giving out chores for the kiddos to help you keep up that beautiful house or hire a cleaning team? And just the floor area to keep clean makes me dizzy. Love seeing how everyone is enjoying the pool. Well, thank you, Lynn. So we talked a little bit. We did we did change our tour system and how we're doing things. As of right now, we are not going to be hiring a cleaning crew because I feel like when we all work together, we do a really great job at it. So we will keep this house beautiful and clean. We just have yeah a different tour system, which I will do a video about. Also, we love the pool. Yeah, I go oh, swimming yeah, in, saying, like, in my clothes all the time. Yeah. I just get hot and sweaty and I jump every day. Yeah. I don't change my swimsuit or anything. Yeah, it's too much work. Yellow, yeah. live life. Kay Trujillo, your family is amazingly positive. Wondering if you have set curfews for the teens and have you had to change them now that you're in a big city with all the state? So it is kind of scarier in a bigger city because I feel like when we were in like a small little town, we knew a lot of the people and I don't know. So. Um, we haven't really gone out a ton or the kids haven't really gone out a ton. They have done activities and met some new people and like that kind of thing. Um, but we don't, we're not really sure at this point what we're doing. I feel like we're very understanding. Is it just depend so on depending like, on what they're doing. And like who it is. Yeah. Like who's so like, going out. So like yeah. for example, Alex can go out till two with like girls. Stop. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. Stop. Don't lie. Okay, Alex is 18. <laughs> and makes his choices and he's being very, he's very responsible. No, you're very responsible. He went to Top Golf and he took a girl on a date and he had a lot of fun. And then he had to sneak back into the house. Cause he didn't have- I didn't have to sneak, sneak back in. I was just gonna get in the hand to jump a couple Okay, but they're like really under, I feel like they're pretty understanding and are, um, will like Hi. compromise a time. But at the same time, like I think it really depends on like who the child, like who it is going yeah. out and what they're doing. Yeah. Yes. I, think I don't go out. Very much so. So kind of like they were saying, it does depend on the kid and what they're doing and who they're with and all of that. So we don't have like a set curfew. It just, we want them to be as safe. And so it just depends on the situation. Okay. Bria Casey said, Hope I'm not too late, LOL. Do you still have communication with the families you were a surrogate for? How is the baby now? I do have contact with them. Um, I have their phone numbers. I could call them anytime. I'm sure I could go visit if, uh, you know, we just went super busy. But the baby's doing really good. And yeah. And some people have asked a lot whether you would be a surrogate again. It's... Probably not. Only because. She's done it three times. I've done it three times. And this last pregnancy was really hard on my body. And just with everything I have going on, it's just it's just a lot. And so I don't feel like right now being pregnant would be optimal for my situation. This is, Alexia asks, what has been the hardest thing about moving? How has it affected any of the has it affected any of the kids? The hardest thing about moving is probably like packing everything up. And then like after you're done with that, you have to unload everything again. And then like it's just yeah. 
possible. I feel like the move has been really good. Um, a couple of the kids has been a little hard to adjust at more, mainly the littler ones like Aurora and Brody. Um, just getting used to a new house and everything, but it is so good for our family and so good for just, I don't know, the resources and the everything that we have here. Um, we're really, really thankful. Reacclimating to the heat. That's Aurora should be part. starting speech therapy in the next week or two, so I'm super excited about that and to get that going. And so, yeah. This one's from Chantilla Marie. It says, what is everyone's favorite part of the new house? Personally, mine's my room or the pool. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Um, mine's <laughs> my room, or the pool as well, or the backyard, just in general. Yeah. Probably mine's my bathroom, my closet. <laughs> Mine is the pool because we live in the double bathroom. <laughs> double bathroom. <laughs> that's one way to describe it. What's yours, Jake? The basketball who or the pool. Uh, my room, pool, and then the, the hoop. My, you already know, it's my laundry room. <laughs> she's gonna get mad at me. And the pool. I'm, I'm gonna say the kitchen, but she's gonna say, You haven't been cooking recently. He has not been cooking. We've been eating out too much because oh, we have yeah. to get back in the sink I'm of busy. Cooking. I'm hot. It's the last I'm thing I'm gonna do is go in the kitchen and cook. It's okay now. But he's going to start cooking I'll because he got a cast iron. So. I'm so excited for that. <laughs> now I gotta cook. So mine is six in a row golfing and pool. You mean four? You mean four? Oh, four. You can still play six. <laughs> Dang, I thought it was a connect four. We got, um, it's connect four. We got a big, huge connect four that's like bite-sized. Like size. Jenga. Yeah. We need, we need bigger Jenga. Jenga. Yeah. We did we get big bigger, Jenga. Bigger, bigger I have big Jenga. Yeah, we need a bigger Jenga. Bigger. 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 My favorite is probably the, bal the balcony view and the balcony and the slanted glass story. Oh, yeah. The view. The, the view. The sunset. The sunset. The sunset is amazing. I do have right, to right. say, I do have to say, I feel like I feel like our house style like is like the one from Twilight, just because it has like all the windows and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, oh yeah. yeah, I didn't think of What's, it like that. All right, this question is from Lexi. What is everyone's favorite animal? I am a dog groomer. If you are in our area, let us know. Look at that monster. <laughs> <laughs> she is getting very hairy, and we need a new dog groomer because <laughs> the one we used to have is not here. But anyways, what is everyone's favorite animal? Mine is uh, that dog over there, because she is awesome, but she's also a monster. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's a panda. They might be cute, but they're very vicious. A husky. Um, koala or a kangaroo? Um, my favorite animal is myself, because I'm part animal. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't actually your favorite animal. My actual favorite animal is a super. <laughs> Dog. What about you, Brody? <laughs> Werewolf. Nice. Mine's a cheetah or a dog? Mine's a tiger. I love dogs. And hedgehogs are really cute, but I've never had them. They're so, very cute. Somebody though. was saying in the comments the other day that Hannah said she liked hedgehogs, and they said they had a hedgehog, and they thought that was really cool. Oh, oh yeah, I do know. like hedgehogs. I've held a hedgehog before. They're very spiky. <laughs> they're spiky. Um, they're really cool. They're, yeah, they're my favorite animal. I wish I had a camel. I do live in the desert. Dude, camels. Are so camels your favorite? Final answer. It can live in our. I hear camels dog. spit though, and I don't want some spit in me. Uh, <laughs> just dogs. Uh, My two favorite animals are sea turtle and dogs. I'd have to say Doberman or a Minpin. Last question: Carrie Gam Bradella. Bardella. Got, yeah. I have been following you for about seven months now. How many children have you adopted in total? And are there any plans to keep adopting? By the way, I'm a single mother of four. And even when I had help, it's so hard at times. But my heart is wonderfully full. So I applaud you both for all you do for these wonderful children that deserve a loving home and family. So we do have 13 kids total, um, three biological nine officially adopted and one adopted in our hearts which is jamie um and are you do you have any plans to keep adopting the answer is yes the answer is yes to that question we can't say any more than that but it's yeah so anyways 
Thank you guys so much for watching our Q&A. We will see you guys next time. To be wow. continued. Uh, uh, uh.